This Mass is offered for the souls of Joseph Ice, Lucy D'Souza, Pauline Rodericks, Celine Brands, John and Lily Fernandez, D'Souza and Rodericks family, Pinto family and Alvina Sebastian. Thanksgiving Mass in honor of St. Jude and St. Anthony. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, once again I welcome you all for participating in this wonderful celebration of the mystery of God, that is uh, God saving the humankind uh, by the sacrifice of the Son Jesus Christ in Calvary to celebrate uh, the sacred mystery of God's love. Let us go to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon and forgiveness. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, in what I, have I have done, done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through to my, my faults, through my, my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, Pray, to pray for me to the Lord of our God. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, 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 have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now 
to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The word that was addressed to Jeremiah by the Lord, Get up and make your way down to the porter's house. There I shall let you hear what I have to say. So I went down to the porter's house, and there he was working at the wheel. And whenever the vessel he was making came out wrong, as happened with the clay handled by potters, he would start afresh and work it into another vessel, as potters do. Then this word of the Lord was addressed to me, House of Israel, cannot I do to you what this potter does. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so you are in mine. House of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A response will hear his son. A response will be, he is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. My soul, give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Our response, He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. Put no trust in princes, in mortal man, in whom there is no help. Take this bread, they return to me, and their plans that they come to nothing. Our response He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord, his God, who alone made heaven and earth. The seas and all the country. Our response He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. Kindly stand for the gospel. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Open our heart, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet cast into the sea that brings in a hole of all kinds. When it is full, the fishermen fall it ashore, then sitting down, 
they collect the good ones in a basket and throw away those that are no use. This is how it will be at the end of time. The angels will appear and separate the wicked from the just to throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Have you understood all this? They said, Yes. And he said to them, Well then, every scribe who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out from his storeroom things both new and old. When Jesus had finished, these parables, he left the district. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I'm so happy once again to meet all of you through this Holy Eucharist. If you heard the Gospel in today's Holy Eucharist, I hope you would remember this same gospel passage was read on Sunday as the gospel. The gospel of Matthew chapter 13 verses 44 to 53. But today my dear parents, my dear children and youth, I don't want to touch on the gospel passage today for the reflection. Rather, I want to focus on the first reading of today's Holy Mass that is taken from Prophet Jeremiah chapter 18 verses 1 to 6. You know, my dear friends, we have seen in the gospel of Jesus speaking in parables. Jesus speaking in comparisons of our daily lives to explain the mystery of the kingdom of God. And I want to tell you, even in the Old Testament, God has compared himself to something, to somebody. In today's gospel, God directly called his servant prophet Jeremiah and he spoke to him. He compared himself to a potter who makes a pot, who makes a vessel. So God takes Jeremiah to the potter's place and he tells Jeremiah, observe the potter how he makes the pot out of the clay and Jeremiah was standing there where the potter was making the pot of the clay. My dear friends, what do you think? As soon as the potter takes the clay in his hand, can he make a good vessel out of the clay? Can he make a good pot out of the clay? No. The potter when he takes the clay and starts making the vessel which he wants, initially he makes mistake. The pot of the vessel he intends making will not come immediately. He makes some mistakes. 
The clay gets spoiled in his hand. But he never gives up because the pot I wanted to make or the vessel that I wanted to make, it is not coming. So I'm going to give up. I'm going to throw this clay out. I'm going to go home. No. What he does, even if there is a mistake, even if the vessel is not coming properly, he reworks on it. He is using his you know, knowledge and uh, he works again and he makes a beautiful another vessel out of that spoiled clay. So what is this water story telling all of us? Even to Jeremiah who was standing there and watching this incident Jeremiah was inspired by this incident and he decided, he realized for himself as the potter used the spoiled clay to make a beautiful another vessel even God can rework in the lives of his people in spite of their failures and imperfections. You know, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in our life, we cannot always get good things. We are not always happy. Our life is filled with both joys and sorrows. So today, I am inviting all of you, we must realize in our life that God is leading us, in fact, A variety of events and incidents of both good and bad in our lives, both failures and successes in our life. Why we are having failures in our life? Why we are experiencing bad things in our life? Because God wants to teach a lesson to all of us so that we may get some inspiration, that we may get some lesson in our life, that we may have hope and trust in the Lord. As yesterday, Wednesday, Wednesday, we had 10 standard results. And I want to tell you this good news, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear parishioners, our St. Jude High School secured set percent result. All the students who appeared for the board exam, they all passed and uh, the good percentage. All of them, they are very happy because they passed in the exam and they got good percentage. And I remember some of the students, they were so joyful, they said, Father, I thank God because God helped me to write the exams well and get good percentage. Because before the exam, I prayed to God, I prayed to Mother Mary. So this gives us a new hope. So my dear, Friends, let us pray at this Eucharistic celebration. Do not be worried in your life. I am a useless guy. I am a sinner. I am a very bad person. So God will not love me. God will not do something good in my life. No. God will always work in you and through you. Though you are sinful, and though you are imperfect. God will always forgive you and He will always make use of you to bring you back to Him and to bring something good out of you. So let us pray for this grace that we must always depend upon God's grace and God's goodness in our lives and we must always be closer to Him. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. All through your goodness, we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, all through your goodness. We have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with the humble and contrite of heart. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for the hands, for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all of His Holy Church. Except, O Lord, we pray the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, eating bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
kicked us all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oswald Gracious our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember all our brothers and sisters for whom we pray at this Eucharist. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, our pagan saint, Jude, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced with God and life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through them and with them and in heaven, O God, In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive and us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, we send your apostles, all of us, your children who are gathered here. Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and pray forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the sprinkling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we will go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The act of spiritual communion. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul. To enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O oh, Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness, in the communion of your mysteries in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith and unbounded trust, perfect humility and abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with your mind and heart. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be 
every moment thine. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son, Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray for coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who shows your love to all creation everywhere, Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is easily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the mighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The masters can then go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Novena prayer to Saint Jude. O Lord Jesus Christ, who when on earth did with a strong cry and tears offer up prayers and supplications to your Father, receive the offering of this service, during which we desire to join our prayers to yours for these intentions. You have mentioned the favors you desire. Pray for your personal and your family needs, especially for those who have been affected by this coronavirus and lost their lives in their homes. We pray for them and we pray for the Families who have lost their near and dear ones. We make this, this offering through me, your mother, and through Saint Jude the days. Your beloved cousin. For he is the helper in difficult cases. For their sake, accept our prayers and render them fruitful. Amen. A glorious apostle, Saint Jude the days. Patron of hopeless cases, who chosen by God to give testimony of the true faith, suffer all kinds of tortures, and in the end gain your life rather than deny your faith. Obtain for us a faith strong as yours, and like we make us every day to confess it with joy, so that we will die rather than deny it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil of Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, now and shall be, world without the end. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. O faithful Apostle, Saint, Saint Jude, Jude that is, beloved cousin of our Savior, by the admirable courage, 
with which you sacrificed your life sooner than fail in your fidelity to the true God and true faith, obtain for us the grace to be always faithful to God and to the Church in all our duties, so as to merit a share of glory in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now our shall be world without the end. Amen. Saint Jude, pray, pray for, for us. us. O fervent apostle Saint Jude, that is, whose only desire was to please God in all things, obtain for us the same desire that inflamed with the same power. We may spend all our life in working out our salvation, so that, purified by the fire of tribulation, we may be entitled to an eternal crown of glory in the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but the deliverance from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without the end. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. Let us pray. O God, who through the blessed Apostle Saint Jude has brought us to the knowledge of your name. Grant that we may celebrate the eternal glory by making progress in virtue and by perpetuating the glory we may advance in sanctity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Jude. Most holy Apostle Saint Jude, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the Breaker who delivered the Blessed Master into the hands of his enemies has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the Church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of hopeless cases of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable, make use. I implore you of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of, come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolation and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations and sufferings, and that I may glorify God with you and all the elect throughout eternity. I promise you, O blessed Saint Jude, to be ever mindful of great favors, and will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to your Amen. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall get well. Grant Almighty and Eternal God everlasting help to those who believe. Hear us for the sake for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Jesus the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of the world, 
through the merits and intercession of his holy apostle Saint Jude, show us favor and mercy. Amen. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you always. Amen. St. Jude, pray for us and, and for all who invoke your name. Apostle of Jesus, a martyr saint of God, the cousin of our Savior, of whom thy love I told, a writer of the scripture with tongues of fire flame, the worker of great wonders in Jesus' holy name, Saint Jude, we pray to you, your prayers be our help, be our hope. Saint Jude, thou art forgotten, thou shalt remember me. We hail thee now in glory and have recourse to thee. Your help for the despairing, when hopeless seems our task, and from the heart of Jesus, through thee our favors us. Saint Jude, we pray to you, your our prayer. Be our help, be our hope. In sickness, strife, and sorrow, in fears and depressed groups, our confidence now strengthen and ask for grace this new. When crosses press our shoulders and pure needs to despair, then listen to our petition, Saint Jude, oh, your love friend. Saint Jude, we pray to you. Your prayer be our help, be our hope. Through the most powerful relic of Saint Jude, today's updated saint, a mighty God, bless your families on all your intentions, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.